going on guys we're back again today with another pokemon x and y ou wi-fi battle it's gonna be weird when i have to say pokemon auras video it's gonna be so weird when i have to say that gosh that is gonna be weird but today i have a battle against jordan if you're looking at my team and you're like whoa that's a bit different yeah i'm using a sock all the other pokemon on my team i've used but today i'm using a sock not a shoe I'm using a sock not a shoe uh but it, it is a sock uh <laughs> but my opponent has a hey dragon a hey dragon hi dragon uh, Obama Snow, Thunderous T, an Infernape, an Azumarill, and an Excel Gorb. Again, I forgot to insert this at the beginning, so I'm going to cut the other Hayden off. And you guys get to sit with this Hayden for like 12 seconds, however long this is going to take me. Basically, I'm giving away a free copy of Omega Ruby and a free copy of Alpha Sapphire. Click this link right here. It will take you to the video, which explains it a lot more than I will right now. But basically, you know, free copy of Omega Ruby, free copy of Alpha Sapphire. Omega Ruby will be given away on my YouTube channel, and Alpha Sapphire will be given away on my Twitch. So if you're interested, click that link and, uh, you know, go listen to it. It's only like a minute long, and it explains everything that you need to know about it and what you need to do to enter into that giveaway. But yeah, let's, let's get back to the other Hayden. We're going to go ahead and get this battle started. As you can see, I'm using my uh, a variant of my Sun Team. I love my Sun Team. It's... It's powerful if you can get it to work, but, you know, it takes a lot of patience. You know, if you really, really want it to work that bad, you have to have a lot of patience, and you have to wait for the right opportunity uh, to really get it going. But you guys have seen it work before, so I don't need to explain it. But I do have a sock here. I am Choice Scarf. Uh, Jolly Max Attack. Uh, I guess I'm going to just start saying the spreads of all my Pokemon because there are people that comment about it, about asking me what, what's what, you know, spreads my Pokemon have, and then they don't have a reply button. <clears throat> Lin Kagamine. <clears throat> but anyways, he's going to hit me with the uh, Bug Buzz there, get me with a crit. I go for the Stone Edge, but I miss, and here he's actually going to get me with a Focus Blast, which is very unfortunate for me, because I'm going to lose my Sock quite early. Uh, at least I didn't lose a Shoe, though. Uh, I, I don't mind losing a Sock, but uh, I can't, can't, lose, can't lose my Shoes. I'm going to go out to 420 Blaze, which is my Charizard here. I am a Charizard X, I am not Y. Uh, there's no point in running Ninetales and Charizard Y, so it's pretty easy to decipher that I am a Zard X. But I'm going to go ahead and Mega Evolve here, because why the hell not? I'm a, I'm a Charizard, I'm a Mega Zard, and uh, I probably go for Dragon Dance, no me. Yeah, nice and nice and Dragon Dance. Get that nice and boost to boost up. So now I'm fast, and I'm strong, and he's got that High Dragon over there. Uh, I am going to go ahead and go for the Dragon Claw. I do have Tough Claws, so this Dragon Claw is going to hurt a lot actually gonna end up killing that thing which is super super good for me because I don't have to worry about the thing anymore uh, that was probably one of the biggest threats to me high dragons are very nasty especially if you don't have anything for them uh, nowadays you know you have fairy types that can pretty much deal with them all the time but you have to be careful he's gonna go out to aquamarine I'm gonna be able to get some damage off of an earthquake I really really wish it would have done more but earthquake isn't boosted by tough claws so that's super unfortunate he's gonna go for the player rough realize it's not gonna be doing as much as he would have hoped and he's gonna go out into lightning uh, I do go for an Earthquake here, but, you know, there's no problem with that. I, I know that he's probably not Scarfed. I am going to go for Fire Punch. It is Stab, and, uh, you know, it is still boosted by Tough Claws. So, and the reason I went for that over Dragon Claw is because he does have that Azumarill, and I didn't want him to switch it in. Here, I'm going to go for Fire Punch, get, try and get rid of this Excel Gore, but unfortunately for me, he does have a Focus Sash, so I'm not going to be able to kill that thing just yet, which is super unfortunate. He's just going to go for the Hidden Power. Uh, I would assume that it's Hidden Power Rock, but it could be Hidden Power Ground. From from what I can tell, though, it's more than likely Hidden Power Rock. A lot of Pokemon like Excel Gore that are really fast, but are also weak to, you know, flying types and ice types such as Sceptile. And Excel Gore is not weak to ice, but it's weak to flying. A lot of them will run HP Rock just so that they can, uh, you know, try and body something. Uh, it's a very good counter to, excuse me, a very good counter to Talonflame. Because with the Focus Sash, he's able to live a Brave Bird and then counter with a Hidden Power Rock and then kill it. So that's what I assume he's running. I'm going to go out of my Ninetales. He goes for the Bug Buzz, which is a kind of odd play. I didn't know if he was expecting me to switch into my uh, my Leafy on there or what. But I am definitely just going to stay in and go for the Flamethrower. He's going to go out into the Yeti now. This Abomas though. This thing is actually a bit of a problem. Uh, just because it's an Abomas Uh I, I'm not sure uh, what he wants to do here. He is actually going to end up switching out, which is, you know, a little odd for me. He's going to end up going out into the Infernape. 
Uh, as I do go for the Fire Blast here, uh, it's a good play by him. Unfortunately, I missed. I could have at least gotten some damage off on that Infernape. Uh, while, you know, I was in here, while I was just chilling, like a villain, uh, eating my lemon. But I am going to switch out here. I don't want to die. That Infernape could be running Earthquake. Uh, you never really know. But I'm going to go on my Starmie, and I actually get predicted here pretty hard, and he actually does end up going for the Thunder Punch, which is super unfortunate for me because... Uh, that's more damage than I wanted to take now and then I'm gonna take hail damage on top of that Unless he's scarfed though. I am gonna be able to outspeed and hit him with a scald and potentially kill him Because scald is scald is, is pretty strong. I could have gone for Psy Shock here But since this infernape does have leftovers, I'm kind of fearful that it might be uh, a defensive Infernape so scald right here is my best option. He actually ends up not really having anything. He might have a little bit in HP uh, he might have some in defense, but he definitely doesn't have any in special defense, which is great for me because, you know, it's a lot of damage off on that thing. And he's going to be taking a little bit of hail hail damage. Actually, I think leftovers negates it. Cannot remember. Yeah, pretty much negates it. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> but I'm going to go out on my nine tails. Uh, I unfortunately don't outspeed this Infernape. I don't think. Can't remember. This Infernape might not might be adamant instead of jolly. I can't remember if I outsped or not. But I definitely want to get the sun back up if I can. Uh, okay, never mind. He doesn't speak. He is going to hit me with a thunder punch. It is not going to kill me. And I'm going to be able to retaliate with a flamethrower, which is great because, you know, it's a dead Infernape. And I don't have to worry about that thing no more. Uh, that Infernape is a big threat uh, to me for a lot of reasons. I have a Reggie Rock left and I have a, uh, a Leafy on left, both of which are, are weak to Infernape. So, uh, yeah, but I go out in my... I am still. He goes out into his zoom roll. I'm going to go for Solar Beam. I'm hoping to God that he doesn't go for Aqua Jet. And thank God he didn't. I don't know if he doesn't have it. If he thought I was going to switch. I don't know. Uh, I had no reason to switch. Because if I did switch uh, when I came back in, the spikes would have killed me before my drought would have came back up. So it was best for me to just stay in and go for Solar Beam. That way I didn't have to take any damage on anything else. But he's going to go out into the Obama Snow. I believe this is his last Pokemon. Uh, all he can really do here is go for Ice Shard and hope that it kills. Because, oh, it's going to kill me regardless. But uh, that's the only thing he could have done. If he wouldn't, if he would not have gone for Ice Shard or just plain wasn't carrying it, he would have lost right there. Because all I had to do is click Flamethrower or Fire Blast and that thing would have been dead. But I'm going to go out to Leaf Katana. There isn't really anything I can do here. I am going to go for Leaf Blade just to get some damage off. Uh... Because why not? Uh, and I'm gonna get blizzarded. Gonna get trapped in the blizzard. Can't see nothing. Driving it off, off a cliff in a blizzard. I think. I guess. But all I have left really is Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock is the, the only thing I have left. But the Reggie Cock is here to lay down the pain. I'm gonna go for the Stone Edge here. And that actually is gonna be enough to not kill that Yeti. And he's gonna hit me with an energy ball. But little did he know, I'm a Salt Vest and I'm going to be eating that energy ball up. I think Giga Dream would definitely be a better option on that thing. He's going to go for an Ice Shard. I'm going to eat it up because Ice Shard is a physical attack and not a special attack. And uh, Regicock is fat in the defensive stat, if you guys didn't know that. And uh, hit him with that Drain Punch. I didn't want to miss a Stone Edge and I got Drain Punch, so why the hell not go for it? It's still super effective and it's still going to kill from where he was at. And that's a good game. That's a game. That's, that's game. That's game. Oh. Well, I forgot to insert the aura things, the auras thing in the beginning, the auras giveaway video at the beginning of this battle. So you guys probably saw that at the beginning because I edited it in somewhere. But in case you missed it or just skipped it or whatever, here it is. I'm giving away a free copy of Omega Ruby and a free copy of Alpha Sapphire on November 21st. 2014. Yes, that is the day of the release of both games. They are going to be digital copies, so you are going to get them the day that they come out. There's not going to you're not going to have to wait a week for shipping or wait two weeks for shipping. You're going to get it the day that those games come out. So you know if you're in one of those situations where you can't afford it or you know you just don't you you want the game but you don't want to spend the money on it. You know you're getting it for free. Well, you have a chance to get it for free. Uh, but basically, if you click that link, go to that video. Watch it. It will explain everything that you need to do. Uh, basically, you just need to go to that video and comment what Mega Evolution you're most excited about. And and yeah, and if you're interested in Alpha Sapphire, uh, watch the video because I'm not going to I'm not going to talk about it here. But it will explain how you can win a free copy of Alpha Sapphire, uh, which is more related to my Twitch channel, not my YouTube so much. But 
the video explains it. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. I should probably start doing a question of the day kind of deal. I think you guys would enjoy that. And I've been playing a lot of, uh, this is way off topic, but I've been playing a lot of uh, TCGO lately. And uh, if anyone has a Mega Ven or not Mega Venusaur, a Venusaur EX or Charizard EX, let me know in the comments and uh, I will message you uh, some way, shape, or form and see if we can get a trade set up because I really need a Venusaur uh, EX and a Charizard EX. Uh, Stoke, Stoke Charizard EX, not the uh, the other one, the Stoke one, and uh, something else. And uh, if you have the full art ones, that's even better because I will offer some even better things to you for those. But anyways, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Uh, make sure to like the video. If you liked it, dislike it. If you disliked it, it's not going to hurt my feelings. It just shows me that you you know, you didn't enjoy the battle as much, and I'm upset that you didn't, but that's, well, that's okay. That's, that's none of my business. And if you're new and you really enjoyed, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I will be doing more giveaways in the future, such as my Auras giveaway. And, you know, you're going to get more and more Wi-Fi battles every day, especially once Auras comes out. I'll probably, I, if, I, if I can stream a lot enough when Auras comes out, there will be two battles uploaded uh, pretty much every day. So that's, that's a thing. But remember, guys, I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, we will see you back again next time. All right? Peace out.